Cake Decorating 101. Some of you may, oh, thank you, Betty. I love Betty White. Um, some of you, I don't know if you've taken my first class that I did last year, but I'm gonna go back over it. So we're gonna start with the basics, and if you have heard them, I'm sorry. But here they are again. So I suggested on a previous um, post that I did which tips that you should have uh, to get started on cake decorating. And this is one of the most important ones, uh, I think, one that you get the biggest bang for your buck. Uh, and this one's by Wilton. I'm sure you can buy them by other companies. And it's called a 1M, and that's one like an M as in Margaret. This one does all of the nice um, swirls and roses um, that you can do in one fell swoop, or they're called rosettes, I think doesn't change anything on TikTok. No, I didn't think it would. Well, we'll just live through it and see what happens. So this one is a 1M, so write that down if you didn't buy it already. Uh, because to get into cake decorating and, or cupcake decorating, um, it should be fairly inexpensive until you start adding the world like I have over the years. <laughs> and then this is another one that I really love, and it also is Wilson. And it's a 2D, as in Donald. And it's kind of the same as this one, but it's the ends are closed. So these I do flowers with these that are quite pretty, and we're gonna do some of those in a few minutes. Then, put those over there. Then you need a 104. Um, this is, these are all Wilton tips, and these make um, roses with individual petals and petal flowers and we're going to use this one today. Hi Anita. Oh hi. Hello. We're just saying how, I don't know if everybody else is experiencing this, but the comment section and your name for some reason today it's itty bitty. So it's a little harder for me to see what you're saying. Also Ginger. This is the leaf tip, and it's tip 352. Thank you for following me, Jaden. I appreciate that. I'm in Vancouver. Joe followed the host, thank you. I uh, appreciate that. Yeah, I hope TikTok didn't change it, because this is gonna be really difficult. Um, it's gonna be hard. Yeah, I'm in Canada. Lily Rose, thank you. Uh, euphoric. Thank you. Anybody who's followed me, thank you. Then this one, this is called a 233, and this is the grass tip or the hair tip. Is it sunny here? No, it's overcast, but not raining. It's about nine degrees, I think. And then we have a plain old number three, which is one that you just do writing with and things like that. So those are the ones that I suggest you go out and buy. That's all you need to have a really great uh, selection to do lots of different things. Then these are called couplers. Um, who's Pat Keys? That your mate? Shout out. No, I'm Canadian. This is called a coupler. And this is what we attach those tips they sit on top of here and then you twist it on to the bag and I'm going to show you how to do that. Thank you for following me. But here's a jazzy way to do it. It's exactly the same use. It's a three-part system. It's also from Wilton. And this time you just stick it on here and then they twist on so you can twist them on and off really quickly. So they're easier to use. They're not better, but they're easier to use. So these two things do exactly the same thing, but one's easier than the other. And then I suggested that you get a um, flower nail. Sorry there, Joe, you're not gonna get me to say that. Um, this is a flower nail and we're going to make little flowers on it. And hi, Helena. 
we're going to do cupcake decorating. Sorry if you see me peering, um, but for anybody who hasn't heard me already say this, it's really itty bitty teeny tiny type. Who's that? I think I need a moderator. Yeah, <laughs> maybe I do. We'll have to see how this goes. And this is parchment paper that I cut into little squares and we're gonna make some flowers on here. So we're gonna start by mixing some buttercream. But before I do that, I guess I'll put some um, There's a bag. Now, holes in them, and I don't know. I'm hoping they don't all have holes in them. These are the bags I love, except yesterday I had a real problem with them. They had holes. So, this is the bag. Actually, there's two of them there. So, you need to, I know sort of by experience how much to cut off the end, but really what you do is kind of measure how much you want to um, cut off. So you take this, turn it on, twist it on. Put it in the end. Now I've got the bag and I'm going to put it over top of the glass to make it easier for me to fill this with icing. Going to culinary school. Ooh. Hi there. Thank you, Betty. Look at all these funny comments. You guys are hysterical. We don't care about your unibrows and your mustaches and all the rest of it. <laughs> but you go ahead and chat about it if it makes you feel better. All right, so I'm gonna get a little bit of buttercream. And we're gonna put it in here and we're going to dye it. Hang on while I grab that. So here's the buttercream. Uh, oh, <laughs> I almost dropped it. Almost dropped it. Um, this is not the buttercream I normally make. Who said that? Hang on, hang on. Uh, Jen, do you want to do that for me? Do you want to do, be the moderator for me today? Oops. Let me see if I can do that. Decline it if you don't want to, but I'm going to add you right now. That would be really helpful. Oops, there's the messages. Okay, so this buttercream. Um, today I made Swiss meringue buttercream. I think I just made Jen a, but, uh, a moderator for me. I hope that's okay. Uh, who else was that? Oh, sorry, I can't see it all. It's really difficult today. Forgive me today, guys, if I don't answer. I just can't read it, it's so tiny. But I'm just gonna keep carrying on, so. Gigi, all you guys talking about moderators, I'm gonna, I'm gonna look into that and you can also do it too. So let's just start with this today and we'll see how it goes. Anyway, my buttercream recipe, I normally use Italian meringue, but I somebody requested Swiss meringue, so I thought I would try it. But if you go on my website, um, you will find, uh, on my blog, you'll find um, a recipe for American buttercream and for uh, Italian meringue. The Swiss isn't on there yet, but I will put it on there. I know, Betty. <laughs> so anyway, so here's the buttercream. So I'm going to dye this one pink. Um, maybe if I get some color, I will. Because the first thing we're gonna do are some flowers. So for no apparent reason, I like to use the back of a fork to put this in. Thank you for following, guys. Um, it's a nice and smooth utensil, so it doesn't get into the grooves. 
When you're putting dye in your buttercream, never put whatever you used back in because the little bit of buttercream that's on there will cross contaminate this and it'll make it go all lumpy and hard. So always use, okay, the buttercream, go have a look on my uh, blog and you'll find the American buttercream recipe. All right. So we're gonna mix this up. Now, one way that's really good, regardless of what kind of buttercream, um, thank you for sharing, is to put this in the microwave for about five to seven seconds. So I'm just gonna go do that, and it will bring the color out and make it easier to, um, to pipe, so just a second. You can count to five after I get over here, and that's how long we need. One day I did that, add the dye when making the buttercream in the mixer. Um, if I wanted all of the buttercream to be pink, that's exactly what I would do. But I want to make a bunch of different colors. So I make it all white and then I dye it to the colors I want. Like that. And that's what it looks like. <laughs> this is your favorite, is it? Thank you for sharing the live video, guys, whoever that was. I can't see your name there. Great, Kate. I am so Kate, is that what it is? Thank you. Um, so I'm gonna show you, we wanna make a, I want to make a two color flower. So this is the way I'm going to do it. I'm getting a little tiny piece of cling wrap, saran wrap. I'm gonna push you back so you can see what I'm doing, even though I won't be able to see what you're saying. Boy, I sure hope this isn't gonna stay like this. I hope this is a, a glitch that the types like this today. I won't be happy. So I'm going to put some pink. down the side. And I'm gonna get some white and put it down the edge. Like that. You see that, the two colors there? And then I'm gonna make this like a sausage roll. Love watching the lives, We're doing your hair, making dinner. I'm not sure who that is, because, but anyway. So I'm gonna make like a little sushi roll. Like so. Now I don't like to make my piping bags too big because they're harder to work with. So we cut the end off. And this bag that I've got, I'm just dropping it right in there. So it's nice and clean. In there. Did you see those cute puppy dog cupcakes I made yesterday and posted? They barely got any likes on here. I don't know why. Now, when you're learning cake decorating, the one thing that you really need to learn how to do is to hang on to a bag. If you have to use two hands, you're doing it wrong. The second hand can guide it, but it must never squeeze it. You saw them? Yeah, well, 
Nobody really likes them. Thank you for following me. I don't know why. So I like these big bags. And these ones are really thin, so it's easier to do. Oh, thank you, Stacy. So I twist it, and I just twist it over my finger because I don't want to have to use uh, an elastic or something to keep it tight. But the real important part about cake decorating or piping is you need pressure on the bag. The bag has to have pressure. Nobody liked the cuppy cake. Well, the person who bought them did. <laughs> so that's good. We're going to make a few more today because I thought you might like to see. Yeah, she loved them. She just picked them up. So it's the pressure that forces the icing out, not so much the squeezing. That's what's important to know. So keep this bag really tightly under pressure and it makes it a lot easier. So I'm gonna make, um, thank you for following the host guys, Shirley, Sam Breeze, whoever those are. So this is what you do. We're gonna make some and we're going to freeze them. And, uh, oh, I'm sorry, fire. <laughs> we're on fire. Oh, the lefty cake decorator. Oh my goodness. Are you left-handed? How am I gonna help you? <laughs> I'm right-handed. My mother told me that all brainy people are left-handed. Oh, maybe that's anyway getting back so put a little bit of buttercream on on your nail you like the puppies thanks <laughs> and then you're going to get a piece of parchment paper I like to have the parchment paper you know because it's on a roll it's kind of rounded I don't like it to be this way on my flower nail because it um, yeah you're left-handed <laughs> Uh, because it gets in the way. So I like to put it this way on the flower nail. Oh! <laughs> so you just stick it down so it's angled that way. Now you don't have to use parchment paper for this. You can use anything you want, but I prefer parchment. So now, knowing that we've got this, we're using the 104 tip. You see, this is like a teardrop. That's how you know. You always want, for this kind of flower, you always want the fat part to touch, to touch the paper. It's always the fat part. And because this bag is now under a lot of pressure, you're just, I'm gonna make just a, a four or five petal flower here. I've got it in the center and I'm squeezing it. And just the act of squeezing it with this hand Cause it to make a little, little petal. So I'm just going to do a few little petals, and you will see it's two toned. The white and the pink is just coming out, like that. And then I'm just going to put them down on a board, and I'm going to take this board and I'm gonna freeze it once I get a bunch done. Hang on, this has, got to, this has always gotta be tight. Keep it tight. And then you can watch. So I say I've got that at about a 20% angle and I'm just squeezing with my right hand and turning the nail with my left. Just twisting my, my fingers like this. Just twisting. This is like, maybe like a little apple blossom. It'll get better as the piping, the icing comes down the tube, the piping bag, the color will be better. Just woke up. We're making cupcakes. We're gonna do cupcakes today. So at a 20% angle, squeeze it out. You see how it's getting more even? Getting more of the pink on the edge? Yes, practice makes perfect. I have a lot of comments that are very flattering and people tell me, oh, I'm talented, but quite honestly, I don't consider myself talented. It's practice, that's what it is. 
but you see I only use my right hand. So out. Out and in. Like everything I do, thank you. We'll just make a few of these. Then we'll decorate. I'll put these in the freezer. Now you can make these bigger by bring it, bringing it out further. You'll need more petals. So that one's a little bit bigger because you made them yesterday. Thank you for following me. Okay. Now, if you hold the ba this bag up a little more instead of on that 20 degree angle, you can do the same thing, but your flower is a little more elevated. Now, I lived in Ontario until just a short while ago, but that would have still been far for a cake. How did I get the paper? I cut it. I just took a roll of parchment paper and cut it into squares. So remember, this is a 104 tip. And we're making little flowers going round and round. Alicia, I can't see what your TikTok name is though. It's already disappeared. Thank you. So keep it flat. And if it's flat, oh, put a little bit of air in the bag then. If it's flat, I thought they were cute. <laughs> Sierra, thank you. I thought they were really cute. The lady that picked them up just thought they were cute. It's just the TikTok people, not you guys, but the rest of the TikTok people. <laughs> this is funny. I guess it just depends on whether TikTok algorithm um, sends out the post or not, right? The, sometimes, sometimes what I do that I don't think is going to get any views. Well, you guys probably experience the same thing. You don't think it's going to get any views and it goes pretty much viral. And then something you work really hard on and you're really happy with gets nothing. It's 4.30 at your place. It's um, about 1.30 here. Thank you for sharing my video. I'm just going to make a few more of these. So this is the one that we're going to work on today. This is the little apple blossom or cherry blossom. You can do them, of course, in any color you want. They're very pretty when they're done in red. This is a kid's app. Grandma, leave. <laughs> no, I'm not going anywhere. And you won't be a kid forever. You'll be a grandma before you know it, and then you'll be here. There we go. 2330 in South Africa. No, I'm not listening to them. I don't care. I don't care. That's where they goof, you see. When you're my age, you don't care. So then they can say what they want. <laughs> That's all right. They're all entitled to their opinions, whatever they want. Just wait till I go and give them a, uh, go and give them a cupcake, then they'll love me. <laughs> that would be different, right? Eh? The other thing to note, if you're doing this, um, you don't wanna have a very big bag. If this bag has got too much icing in it, it's really hard to control. I'm watching her tips. Uh, puppy dogs are adorable. 
Thanks, guys. Um, I've got two pieces of parchment, so we'll just finish that up. So you don't want the bag to be too big because the moment it's too big, you can't control it. It's too hard. The smaller the bag, you like my personality? Well, that's good because it's the only one I got. Always keep the bag tight. And then, so there we are, we have all of those. Can't wait to be a grandfather, but I need to be a father first and graduate high school. <laughs> yeah, don't, um, don't uh, wish your life away. Okay, so that's safe. Um, those are the little apple blossoms. Now I'm gonna just go drop those in the bottom of the freezer and no, um, it's not an order. If it was an order, you can always tell. If it's an order, I've got my hair up or a ball cap on. So, forced to graduate culinary early. Oh, yeah, there'd be no hair hanging down. So let me put those in the freezer. Here's some cupcakes. Bring you back so maybe I can see you. But this is a pile of cupcakes I baked off this morning. Gonna be for the family. Um, oh, I can't see that. <laughs> this is very frustrating. Thank you for following me. Door stream. All right. Anyway. Meanwhile, meanwhile, so that, I'm gonna put just a little bit more frosting in here. Now, if you remember, there is the uh, cling wrap in there. So I'm gonna pull that out. Pull that out. And I'm just gonna put a little bit more frosting in here. the pink because it's made and like I said sometimes you get like a little bit of frosting in there and you think um, oh I'll just put that in there but don't because if you do then the problem is it's too big for your hand to hold properly And you can't deal with it. So that's plenty in the bag. So no more than that in the bag. So I put it in the bag, twist it so it's really under pressure. The more under pressure it is, the better. And this one, I'm gonna do exactly what I just did on those little um, flowers, but I'm gonna do it right on top of the cupcake, but I'm gonna make it bigger. So starting in the center, I'm gonna go all the way out and all the way back in. Am I single? Is that what you're asking? <laughs> or is it? Can you see? Just like that. Just like that. Hmm. I don't know what's going on. I'm missing something. So I'm just gonna finish this out so you'll see. Now don't be made afraid to make your cupcakes a day or two in advance of when you want them and ice them and then put them in the fridge because once they're iced, this will keep them nice and fresh. Now I'm gonna put a second layer on this. So it's exactly the same, exactly the same movement, but I'm gonna put a second layer and I'm angling my piping bag up just a little bit. Oh, there's somebody asking to 
co-host. We're not co-hosting today. So now this is what that flower looks like. So it's like that. But a flower is not, a flower is not, look at all that, well, you wait. A flower, a flower isn't like that. A flower has stamens and it has leaves, right? Thank you for following me guys, whoever that is. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take a little bit of, let's get some. I'm gonna get a little bit, while you wait, you wait. A little bit of that. We're gonna get a little bit of a little bit of green. And we're gonna mix this up. I'm gonna put that in the microwave um, just for a second. Putting it in the microwave uh, if you're into cake decorating, it helps to enhance the color and it, if you just do it for five to seven seconds, see it brings the color out to what you want it to be. Like that. And we've got a nice little pile of icing there, so let's put that in the bag. Now this is why you, you also need, hi Nana. Hi, Nana. <laughs> Go eat dinner. Okay, I'll still be here. So this is the leaf tip. It's a number 352. And I'll put this bag in here. Always, when you cut these off, throw those well away because if they get stuck in your bag and you don't know it, uh, I can't tell if I'm decorating. Oh. <laughs> um, if they get stuck in your bag, they can really screw up your icing when you're, when you're piping and then you're up a creek without a paddle. Okay. From the UK. Thank you. Happiness. I was born in the UK. Bye, butter. <laughs> I use a lot of butter. Green in here. Uh, thank you. Thanks for dropping by, anybody. And guys, because I can't see this very well today for whatever going is going on on TikTok, if I if you haven't heard me say that already, um, I appreciate you. If you're if you're following me, if you're forwarding my videos, sharing my videos, any of that that you're doing, I saw some presents that came in here, which is awesome helps to keep me in supplies. Um, this is called leaf green. So thank you. You guys are the best. So I squeeze it down, twist it over your finger. Keep it really twisted. <laughs> Hi. Hi, Nana. Hi, I'm, I'm here. So this time, this kind of looks like a little bird's beak. See that? Something about YouTube there, I missed it. What did that say? Like make a YouTube thing? Um, yeah, I will make YouTube. But it's fun to do it like this too. So I keep it the direction that a bird's beak would be, right? And then in the side of the flower, you just pump it gently, just a little pumping, and you get a little leaf. See that? So I'm going to put a group of a couple of leaves there just because I like to have a couple of leaves. 
And then, because no flower is complete without its little stamens, I'm changing the tip and I'm putting the grass tip on, which is the, uh, what is that, what did I say that was? 233. Hi, Mommy. <laughs> and in the center of this flower, I'm going to squeeze down and pull straight up. And then I have little stamens on the flower. Like that. Yes. Okay. That's so pretty. All right. Once they're done like this, I drop them in the fridge and then they're very easy after about 15 minutes to pick it up and put it in a box or however I'm going to put them. So I'm going to do one more like this and put it in the box. I mean, put it in the fridge and then I'm gonna do a different type for you. Okay, so I have the bag. Like this, we start in at the center, squeeze in and out. So if any of you are following cake decorating, this is a 104 tip and I'm keeping it with the fat edge down and the skinny end up. Like this. Oop. Tighten the bag. I gotta keep the bag tight. So, thank you for following me. And now I'm gonna put a second layer, but I keep this up a little bit higher this time. It's not quite at the 20 degree angle. Not, it's not as flat. And we put the second little layer on. Yeah, somebody else said that it lagged yesterday. Hey, from Canada, I'm in Vancouver, so I'm in Canada. So this time, just because the, that stamen or grass tip is in the center, we'll just put that right in there. You see that? Lagging and freezing. I don't know why. I think TikTok's got some issues going on. It's, um... Got all that really strange little type that I've got going on here for some reason. I'm going to, this is the leaf tip and I'm just pipe, pumping it gently. Just to give another little, like that. Hi Susie, whereabouts in Ontario? No, I don't make gluten-free desserts. Oh, Lefty, you're Canadian too, are you? Okay, so put it in the fridge. Okay, now this very same tip, this is the 104. You still keep the fat part down at the bottom. See that, that shape? Hey, from Ireland. Can I say hi to Suki? I sure can. Hi, Suki. Just outside Toronto. I'm from Ajax, so just outside Toronto, where does that mean to you? So this time, using the same tip, I'm going to awkwardly put a little center on it. <laughs> Thank you for following. And now I'm going to just make little tight, what is that? No. Ever since this dual thing came up yesterday, 
Do you guys have the duo? I can't even see what you're saying now because it's in the way. Uh, Keisha, hi. Um, ever since this duo live came about, the change that they did to TikTok yesterday, my TikTok's been funny. It's been lagging and it's been... Um, now it's got this small type. So you see we're starting a little flower. Although I need a cloth because, uh, where's cloth? Have to keep the tip clean, puppy cakes. Yeah, I'm gonna make a couple of puppy cakes in a minute, I think. So you just do these in short strokes and then keep the bag tight. See, we're starting to get a pretty rose. Pringles. I love Pringles. Yes, Chloe, live at one. And I'm still here. Now, a rose doesn't have a center, but it sure does have leaves. So I'm going to put some leaves on it. Because once again, I think they look better when they've got leaves. Rebecca, thank you. Yeah? Do one more. Like, um, yeah, I was live at one. I came around on right at one o'clock. How long have I been baking? Um, I've been baking a long time, but cake decorating came a bit later to me. So maybe we've been talking about it in some of my other lives. I think probably about eight years. I can do orchids, but not today. Thank you if you followed me when I wasn't looking. Or if you're sharing my video, my, my live. Keep the bag under pressure always. It's no good unless you keep the bag under pressure. It's the only way you get your buttercream to come out properly. That's why I keep seeing me. Do you just make cakes? No, I make other things too. I kind of specialize in cakes because especially during COVID, um, the whole neighborhood has been asking, oh, somebody sent presents, thank you. Um, the whole neighborhood has been asking me to bake for them. I've done a lot of cakes. In fact, I've got, um, a cake for Wednesday, Friday and Saturday. And I've also got um, you guys at uh, on Wednesday, I think Wednesday at 11, I think it is. Time zones, ah, uh, yeah, maybe. Red velvet brownies, no, I don't think I've ever made red velvet brownies. They're sure made red velvet cupcakes. Uh, where do you get my piping bags? Okay, the piping bags um, I get from, um, they're called Truly Mad Plastic. I'll show you. I know this is backwards for you, but it's just TMP. It's Truly Mad Plastic. I ordered them from Amazon, but I've since found out that you can get them at a place in Toronto called, um, hey Disney, thank you, 
called um, Flower Confections. And um, I'm really happy with them. Except yesterday I had a big problem with them. They kept failing. I don't know why. Now, I've got a little bit of icing left in here and it's a bit, you can see it's a bit squishy because it's just been warmed up in my hand. I will do a puppy cupcake um, right after I do this one. But this one, what I'm gonna do with this, because the icing is a bit squishy, it's hard to work with when it's like that. Um, they, they were whole, there were holes in the bag, Ella, and it kept squirting out and, and a couple of them broke. Uh, cooking is for women only. Okay. I guess eating is for women only then. So this is not um, icing that I really want to work with now that it's too warm in my hand. So I could just put it aside. But what I'm going to do is just sort of randomly cover this cupcake. Just like that in no particular order, right? And then, then I'm gonna get these that we made a few minutes ago out of the freezer. Let me back you up so you can see what I'm doing. And I'm gonna take them, because they don't take long to be in the freezer, I just carefully peel them off of here. And I'm going to stick three just because three kind of fit nicely. So I put three on there like that, right? Now I take my leaf tip, my graph, my um, leaf and I'm going to put some little leaves. I'm going to put them in here, here and there. No particular order, just in the little places that I think they might look good. And then I'm going to change that. It's your birthday and you don't have a cake? Well, we'll pretend these cakes are for you. These cupcakes are for you. I'm changing this back to the grass tip. So you see, I've only used the two tips with everything I've done so far. Now I'm gonna put a little bit of the little centers in these flowers, because they look more realistic. So now we've got a cupcake that looks like that. How's that? Hey guys, thanks for following me. So doesn't that look pretty? A close up of the leaves. Um, let me see if I can do a close up of making a leaf on, on here. Oh, not with that. <laughs> Wrong one. Psych. Okay, so keep it tight. So I stick it, this is what I do when I'm on the, make it like a, the bird's beak up and down, and then I squeeze it and pump it. Like that. I haven't done a guinea pig, but you know, I have done a, done a hedgehog. Does that work? <laughs> so that's how you do the, the leaves. You just put it in and just pump it a little bit, a little bit hard, like that. Thank you for following me. Okay, so I'm gonna put these back in the freezer because we'll do some more in a second. Actually, I can do one more now. Have I got enough to do one more like that? Yeah, I've got another one. I'll put this one in the fridge. We'll do one more like that first. 
Uh, let's see the puppy ones. Yeah, I'll show you. The puppies were cute. They were a bit of a, I have to make some, the reason I'm making you wait is because I haven't got any, um, oh, wait a minute, I'm, I'm thinking out loud. I was gonna say I haven't got any color done, but I can do a white dog. Okay, so I just randomly put that on. Yeah, the hedge height hogs were really cute. Um, there's two recipes on my blog. One's for Italian meringue and one's for American buttercream. Um, actually today what I'm using is quite unusual for me. I'm using Swiss meringue. It's exactly the same as American buttercream, uh, sorry, as um, Italian buttercream, but it's done in a different method. Um, that I wanted to try it, and today was a good way to try it because this isn't a particular order. But if you go on there, okay, so there's the um, three little petaled flowers on there. Now we'll put the leaves. I'll show you something else you can do. This is kind of tricky, I like this. I like it a lot. <laughs> Wait a minute, I'll show you something else that I learned to do not so long ago. Uh, I need Okay, so this is a number five tip. It's a big hole. It's bigger than what I would usually use for anything. Uh, do you eat a lot? No, I don't eat much of this at all. I spend a lot of time, time trying to find places to get rid of it. Oh, there's another co-host request. We're gonna ignore that. All right, so now I've got just this number five tip, which is just a round. So I'm just going to pipe some, I'll show you in just a second. I piped like three green blobs. That's a technical term, blob. I'm gonna type, I'm gonna put um, a couple more over here. You like that technical term? Okay, so now I've got these blobs, right? The technical term blobs. I prefer Italian meringue. Now I'm going to take that same tip and I'm going to put it on my pink bag. I don't have enough icing in here. I'm going to put a little bit, a little bit in here. Just that. Now, I'm gonna take that tip and I'm gonna shove it right down inside of one of those green blobs. And when you do that, it blows them up. I can't really show you, but you can see the outcome. It blows them up a little bit. So it looks like they're a little, oh, you're not feeling well? Sorry. It blows them up so it looks like they're, um, buds, little buds that are about to burst. So you just shove it in the middle and squeeze it. All these guys asking me to co-host. Don't want to co-host with them. So you could actually fill them up with white if you wanted to. I filled them up with a bit of pink. Look at that, looks like they're, yeah, they're piped, thank you. So they're, um, they're kind of cute like that. And now I'm gonna put that leaf tip back on. It's a more, um, 
more detail. And I'm still going to put some leaves, especially in the middle. I like it to look. And uh, maybe we'll put, where did I learn all these? TikTok? No, um, different classes that I've been to. Different other, yeah, little buds, little rose buds. So we'll give them the stamens. So there we are. So now we've got my favorite flavor is um, vanilla. Uh, I put them in the freezer. That's how I get them to pop off which is where the rest of these are going to go right now. I'll just put them back in the freezer and we'll do some more. In the freezer. Okay, you guys wanted me to make a puppy dog, right? I'll make a puppy. Let's make a puppy. Cut that off. Throw it away. Thank you for following me, guys. Guys, um, some of you are new on here from when I started out earlier today. Um, I've got a little glitch going on and I don't know whether or not um, you are struggling with this either. Some of you have said that, but the type is really, really small and I can't see what your comments are for some reason today. Just really carefully. Can you slide that? I don't know what that is. Where's my doggie? She's sleeping right now. So if you followed me and if you've forwarded my videos, my Thank you. And if you said something and I missed it, I'm sorry because I can't see. But I'm gonna make you a puppy dog now. Oh, and somebody sent presents that I saw. Thank you. Now to make the puppy dog, I just use that grass tip again. We will make this one. We'll make it a white puppy dog. Just nick that for a little bit. Better consistency. Oh, <laughs> did you see that? <laughs> then the side of the bag. Shades of yesterday. Every time I did the puppy you're making is called Max. Alrighty, Max it is. I'll just wipe that up. Now I need a couple of other things for our little guy Max here. I need a nose. just dawned on me. I'm going to have to ad lib with his eyes because I don't have eyeballs that I had yesterday. Let's see if this will work for eyeballs. I'll have to see. I might have to make the puppies minus the eyeballs. It's your birthday tomorrow. Happy birthday. Okay, so 
The first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to do a round of fur. So he just gets a round of fur all the way around, keeping the bag really tight. You want that pressure. And this is the grass tip. All the way around. And I'm going to go around again to close in that, or mainly close in that hole. Everybody see that? Yes, happy birthday to anybody who almost has birthdays. Okay, so this is what we've got so far, just fur, right? Just fur. Now I'm going to make his eyebrows and the bridge of his nose, sort of. So I'm going to make a little mound of them here. One there. He's just kind of a furry guy. Now, if I had chocolate chips, I would use a chocolate chip for his nose, but for some reason I don't have any right now. Um, these are just little coffee beans. And if I use the chocolate chip, I'd put the point in and the flat end out. So right now I've just got his little nose in there. Can you see that? <laughs> he looks cute already. <laughs> And then he needs a little tongue, don't you think? Because puppy dogs always have tongues hanging out. So I'm going to take a little jelly bean and I'm going to stick his tongue in his mouth here. So he looks like he's got his little tongue poking out. But I don't have eyeballs that I had yesterday because I made eyeballs for all of them. So I'm going to just try sticking this in do the dishes out here. Don't let your husband do it. I don't have a husband right now. I was married for 30 odd years and now I'm not. So this is gel. I don't like it much, but I don't know what choice we have right now. Oh, it's not bad. Oh, oh. Mm. Hi, Max. Hi, Max. It's not bad. And I'm going to give him just some hair hanging over his eyes a little bit, I think. And his nose, maybe a little bit. Oh, Max. And there's a bit more hair back here. He almost needs to go to the groomer. <laughs> Max the Pomeranian. There's Max. What happened to my husband? He left. After 30 years, he decided he was gay. I like them. Shall I make another one? I think I will. I'll make another. All right, Max needs a friend. Hey, Max. Max needs a friend. You gonna do another one? Should I do another one? Who is that that followed the host? Thank you, guys. Yeah, yeah, you know, life happens. Name his friend Oscar. All right, so this is Oscar. So here we are, we're going all the way around with his fur. I've got the grass tip in here, the 352 tip. These actually look even cuter if you, he, he hasn't really got any ears, they're hidden under the hair. 
You, know, you make some little ears out of fondant. We don't have time for that kind of stuff today. He's still cute. Give them a little. Okay. Uh, can I meet your boyfriend? I don't have a boyfriend. Maybe we weren't talking about me. I don't know. All right. Let's give him some eyebrows. This is where his eyes go. Like that. Now he needs his, uh, you can keep talking. I, I don't really know what you're saying because I can't see it because of this stupid glitch. But anyway, oh, that coffee bean's a funny shape. I don't know. He's not going to be as cute. Maybe, oh, I don't know. The moment I put his tongue in, he's still cute. <laughs> you love him already? Now let's give him, I don't think this gel will harden though, so I'm not sure. I don't like using this gel because I don't have much control over it. Oh, I have very little control over it when the lid's still on. I used to give um, live classes. I used to teach cake decorating and, no, this one's not as cute. Uh, and cooking at the uh, community center in Toronto. But then I moved out here to Vancouver. I think I can move his nose. His nose is a bit funny. Um, I have to move his nose. So. Eh, eh. No, he's cute, but he's not quite as cute. His nose is a bit funny. There he is. Put him in the... I think his nose is too far back. Is that what's wrong with it? I think his nose needs to be poked out a bit. But you know what we do with our mistakes around here, right? Thanks. Um, we eat our mistakes. So if I don't like anything I make, oh yeah, that is better. Not perfect, but he's better. He's better with his nose pulled out a little bit. He looks cuter. Right? All right. Oh, they're cute. That's all the puppies I'm doing for a minute because we're going to move on to um, how to make a hydrangea. These are, this is a, something that you can all do. It's pretty easy. So I'm going to get a bowl and some icing. color we'll put in here. I'm going to try putting a little bit of this um, royal blue and we'll see what it looks like. I'm very entertaining. <laughs> well, I'm here for at least another uh, 16 cupcakes. <laughs> I've got two dozen cupcakes I'm doing, so that's how long I'm going to be here. Now I put this in the bowl with the green because I don't mind if I've got some green in here because it's going to be a hydrangea. Oh, that might not be a bad color. 
Let me put that in the microwave for four seconds, five seconds. She's not married. No, she's not married. Not anymore. So, whoever's answering questions for me, thank you. I appreciate it. Now, for those of you that don't know, hydrangeas are great big flowers with a great big head on them. Um, So that's what we're going to make these look like. Okay, I know how frustrating it can be sometimes to um, ask a question on here or anywhere else for that matter and not get the answers and it leaves you wondering. So quick backstory, um, I was married for 30 years, yes I'm Jackson's grandmother. I was married for 31 years and out of the blue, my husband suddenly decided that he was gay. I don't know why he didn't know that in the 31 years we were married, but that's when it happened. And he, we, did, we had a great marriage, we had a wonderful life, but he left. And the interesting part of the story is that we've never seen him again. He walked out with his knapsack and off he went. Just walked out of his life. He didn't take another thing. So that's the story. So maybe I'll do a longer story time with that at another date. Um, but right now I'm just gonna, I'm gonna decorate. That was in 2008, so I'm okay. So, all right, so let's see this. So I'm gonna use a saran wrap again. That's okay, don't be sorry, it was a while ago. Don't let it ruin the mood, I'm fine. Um, what's my favorite design? I kinda of like this one. So this is going to be the hydrangea. Now often hydrangeas are slightly different colors. Um, where's my offset splash, I'm curious. They're off, often, there we go again, I can't see. <laughs> I hate this. You were two, <laughs> you were two, yeah. Well, it seems to be a while. So I'm gonna flatten this out and, I don't have the other made. We'll use a little bit of this. I'm gonna put a tiny bit of the green just because I like the green squeezed it out of there and I'm going to just spread it across here hopefully it'll come through enough and once again we're just going to sushi roll this like that cut off an end now this time I'm not using a, I'm going to get that off that chair before I put my hand in it. This time I'm putting this right into the bag. Um, there's no coupler that goes with it. So at the end of my live here today, guys, if anybody still has questions about the baking or my blog or anything like that, I'll answer questions then when I can pull the screen closer and see what's going on. Drop that in. And this is the 2D that we're using, okay? Thank you for following me. 
Was that a crazy bitch that just followed me? <laughs> yes, I have three kids. I have a daughter in Toronto, uh, a daughter in Vancouver, and a son that passed away a couple of years ago, so he's in heaven. Thank you. All right, now this keeps the bag under pressure. And watch this, this is lovely, I like this, it's so easy. So you're just gonna squeeze out sort of little flowers. Um, because I mix the two, the green and the blue together. So you just mix it, and mix, squeeze it. And I squeeze, do it in a circle. This isn't a very hydrangea color, I guess. Maybe it could be more, but you see the green that's just coming through in the center? Yeah, thanks guys. Miss your video? Can you show us again what video? So I'm just going to go all the way around. Just keep going around. And look, there's a thing of beauty. I know. This is Swiss meringue today, but I never work in Swiss meringue, but it's fine. Now, I like, um, where are they? I like to use these. It is easy. Totally easy. If you learn how to hang on to a piping bag, I guarantee you can do this. I like to put these little, little green, pearly things. I don't know why I do. I just think they're pretty on here. And I try and put them where I think a center of a, a little flower would be. Because the hydrangea is made up of lots of different flowers, right? little tiny flowers and then we're going to take the the leaf tip again and put a little leaf on it now if i was making these for an order i'd probably go to a little more care and i'd make the leaves a darker green probably what i should do but i'm not going to today because i'm lazy let's do another one of those Oh, I've got puppies in my fridge. Got the puppies. Make room in here. Is another one? Somebody followed the host. Thank you. Thanks guys. Chloe, that's kind of you. Max and Oscar are in the fridge, chilling out. <laughs> chilling out in the fridge, Max and Oscar. All right, so we'll do another one. So you see, it's just squeezing with my right hand. Like I can do this with one hand and you will be able to too. Just squeeze in a circle. Aw, thank you. Ontario Mail followed me. Cool. I need more guys on this site. Are you really a guy? You never know <laughs> whether you're a guy or a girl when you're, when you're uh, on TikTok. You can't tell from the names. So pretty. <laughs> Love baking. Teach us how to bake a cake. Yeah, we're gonna do some baking. Today is cupcake decorating. Cake decorating. Next week it's going to be um, cake. Oh my goodness. I'm trying to be lazy and not put the cupcake down. I have to. Thank you guys if you're following me. So, um, a lot of you might know this, but I'm trying to get, um, oh thanks. I'm trying to get uh, 100,000 followers because I've had some sponsors interested in me, but they tell me that 100,000 followers is the sort of magic number that they want. 
um, because I'm hoping that um, if I get some sponsors, then I don't have to pay for all of the supplies because they get expensive doing this. No, I do videos, I do these, um, let me put in the fridge and I'll answer that question. So I do these lives um, quite a few times. Yeah, I should have done, I'll, I'll show you the leaves in a second. Uh, can you make a video and post it on TikTok and see my ID? I don't understand what that means, see your ID, but my videos, um, oh, so many questions. I don't know where to start. <laughs> All right, I'm just gonna stop there for a second. I gotta regroup. Okay, so number one, I'm live probably three or four times a week. No, it's not a job. Oh, I gotta stop interrupting myself. I'm live three or four times a week. Wednesdays, starting this week, I'm doing something that I have called the TikTokers Cake Takeover. So I'm going to make a cake. I'm gonna come here like I am right now. I'm gonna bring the cake and a batch of icing, and you guys are going to tell me how to decorate it. So I'm gonna give you some guidelines because it can't just be willy-nilly, but I'll give you some guidelines. And collectively, you can order me around until we get the cake the way we want it. And then when the cake is done, I'm gonna give it to, uh, actually the first one's gonna to go to the homeless shelter here in New West. Uh, I don't know where they're gonna go moving forward, but it's going to be at 11 o'clock on Wednesday Pacific Standard Time. That's when that one's gonna be. And that's the TikTokers Cake Takeover. That'll be the next few Wednesdays that we're going to do that. Sundays at one Pacific Standard Time, I'm teaching cake decorating. And we're going to, uh, we're going to do cupcakes. We're gonna do how to put a cake together. We're gonna to do how to bake the cake. We're gonna do how to level it. Everything that you need to know. Um, how to make a cake and I actually think that although I don't have this on my calendar yet I think I'm going to do some just some cooking classes as well because I used to teach that in Toronto so why not online here so in order for me to continue to do this so that it doesn't cost me a fortune I want to get those sponsors those brand sponsors and so I need to um, try and get my numbers up to over 100,000 followers because that's the magic number. So every one of you that's following me, you guys are gonna make this possible. So thank you for that. Um, healthy meal classes, I haven't decided, but there's no end because when I was in Toronto, I used to teach children's classes, that's an option. Uh, so I can teach children's classes I can teach one pot meals, 30 minute meals, five ingredient meals. Um, we could do just Italian or different, different themes. Like there's no end to what we can do. But I live in Vancouver. Um, I don't know what the time just difference is for all of you, but I'll tell you what the time is right now. So it's 2.30 in the afternoon. So 2.30 in the afternoon right now so check your clocks to see what time it is at your place now cooking classes sound good okay uh the live on wednesday is 11 o'clock in the morning my time pacific standard time 11 o'clock in the morning so there's your times Five p.m. there, ten thirty, ten thirty. It's ten thirty at night in the UK, or it must be at night. There in Montreal. Anyhow, that's the questions. So, if you want to do the cake decorating, if you want to do them live with me, like I'm doing today, but we'll do them live. You need to get yourself that equipment. It's on an earlier post that I did a couple of days ago with the list of. Go back to my profile, and you'll see the list of. Um, what ones 
what things you need. Okay, so now I'm going to do, um, I'm going to show you another tip. Now this is the other tip that I suggested that you get. Uh, this is the 1M, M as in Margaret. This tip does not go in a coupler either. It goes straight into the bag just like the last one did. So you just cut a little bit off. And these bags on the floor. Put it in. You can join whether, right, whether you're cooking or whether you're watching. We're telling the time so that you know what time my cooking classes are going to be. Because uh, I'm it's, right now it's 2.30 in Vancouver. So if you want to join me at any of my classes, um, I'm starting, uh, there'll be a class on Wednesday at 11 a.m. Um, and it's the cake, the TikTokers cake takeover. Okay, so let's do this one. I'll we'll just get this out. I'm going to use this up because it's getting warm. Now these are, this is another tip that you guys can all do. I might just fill this up. Now you don't have to be really experienced. Um, no, I, I'm not. The classes are always going to be at this time. The the baking and classes are going to be at one o'clock on Sundays. The takeover is eleven o'clock on Wednesdays. So this is the one M. One M is in Margaret, and this is called a rosette. Um, and this is the kind of thing that any one of you can start to do. It's a really easy um, tip to get used to and, and work. Uh, so you're going to start in the center and you're going to give it a good squeeze and then you're just going to rotate it around the cupcake. So you get this big pretty rose. Has that I'll do one more. Squeeze in the center, big squeeze, rotate it. Now, sometimes, like this time, there's a little bit of a rough edge but that's where I will choose to put my, my leaf. Just pipe those. So we'll put the little leaf there. So just where that came off, just put your little leaves in there. Then you've got these pretty roses. Yeah, you see, they're not hard. Just, the trick is learning how to hang on to that bag. I teach so many classes, I show them how to do it, I walk away, and I come back, and they're squeezing it here. If you squeeze down here, you're never going to get pretty cupcakes. You have to remember just to squeeze with the one hand, just like that. So let me put these in the fridge, and we'll get some more. That's a dozen cupcakes we've done. Now let's do a couple more with the Yes, I'm Jackson's. Yes, who is that? Wait, are you Jackson's grandmother? Who is that? Ruby? Yes, I'm Jackson's grandmother. Who are you? Let's 
So this time I'm going to do the same thing. This is a really good way if you want to, this is a vanilla cupcake. Hi, you new at watching? Welcome. My name's Anita. I live in Vancouver. I've been baking forever and decorating for about eight years. Jackson is my grandson, my 12 year old grandson who lives in Toronto. Hi, Harry. Welcome. Just wanted to say that you're beautiful. Oh, thank you. Everybody deserves everything. So I'm just going around with this. Now, you remember those? You want a cupcake? Okay, there you go. Cupcake for you. <laughs> so what I'm gonna do with these cupcakes, do you remember those little petals that we made? I'm gonna get them out the freezer. So for those who've just joined, we made these at the beginning of the class. Oh, you just saw people talking about them. <laughs> so this time, instead of covering them like I did last time, I'm just gonna stick one on. We'll give them a little, uh, the thing about these cupcakes with being made with uh, Swiss meringue, um, happy 16th birthday to Tatum, is Swiss meringue and Italian meringue is not very, um, not very sweet. Oh, thank you. I'm not a teacher. I guess I'm a teacher. I'm teaching cooking. Maybe I'm a teacher. Uh, I need put this in because once again, uh, can you give me a name for my fish, please? Um, Spike. His name. Oh, Prezies. Thank you. Um, when my son was little he had a fish and we called it spike we also had a budgie and my son spent ages teaching the budgie how to say hi spike and the unfortunate thing was that after about three years the fish died but the bird continued to say hi spike <laughs> so here's the little little stamens in the flower thank you for following me Buttercream recipe, go up to my profile, click the link on my blog, they're on there. So here's these. Hi from the UK. Put these in the fridge. Now, let's see, Dora. <laughs> I'm just gonna do one more because I've got enough for one more in this bag. But you see, you can do these really quick, quickly. Are you allowed to deliver cupcakes to their address? People pick up cupcakes from me here, I don't deliver. I don't want to be delivering. I'm making this for fun. Oh, look, <laughs> Nicki Minaj. Mm -hmm. Yeah, lots of icing. But the good thing is, this icing isn't overly sweet, so you won't find it. Um... Yeah, it does use a lot of icing, so you won't find it sickly.
from your goal. What's your goal? What's the goal for? Best icing recipe? Go on my website, Italian meringue buttercream. It's not that easy to make though, until you practice it. Well, I guess it is easy, it's just laborious. All right, I think I put these in the freezer and I think we need to make some more puppy dogs. I'm gonna uh, put these back in the freezer. And I think I'll put a little bit of um, I live in the UK. I don't know what that is. <laughs> I'm gonna put a little bit of brown in here. See if we can get sort of the. Actually, I can get some brown in here. That I like better. We'll try this one. We'll try. How do you create a website? Oh, God knows. Don't ask me that. I struggle with all of that. I'm going to put this in the microwave. Hang on. Okay, uh, make a cupcake. I'm definitely gonna have to do a little bit of research after we hang up here today and see if I can find out how come that type is so small today. I hope it's not always gonna be like that. It's made it very difficult for me to see what you guys are saying. I understand that if you have to leave. I don't know why. I mean, yesterday it was all good, and today it's like, ugh. I don't know if that's quite brown enough, do you? I guess any dogs can be any color. But we'll give it a bit more, see what happens. It's not bad. It's not bad. Like I said, puppy dogs can be, thank you. Who's that? No, I'm not co-hosting with you. Thank you. I don't know why, but all of the people that seem to be asking me to co-host today seem to be coming from other side of the globe. A butterfly cake. I actually did a butterfly cake not so long ago. Can't do one today, but. So we're gonna need a name for this puppy. Uh, I'm from Vancouver, Canada right now. I was actually born in Southampton, England. So I spent most of my life in Toronto. And my name's Anita. Just putting the bag together. I'll put in the grass tip in. I'm taking all these little ends and throwing them away. What time is it now? It is quarter to three. Got the bag in there. I'm 
I'm making, right now I'm going to make a, a puppy cupcake. That's what I'm going to do. No, don't be tempted, Anita. Don't be tempted to put that in. You won't be able to hold it. See if I had put that extra little bit in there. Cute puppy, Coco. Coco. Okay, this one will be Coco. All right, so we're gonna do a circle around for his hair. For his fur. All the way around. He's gonna be kind of sheepdog. A little bit sheepdog. Gotta keep the bag under pressure. It's really important to keep the bag under pressure so you can do this with one hand. Always you should be able to pipe with one hand. You wanna use the second hand if you happen to need extra help guiding it. But never squeeze it with the second hand. Yeah, a sheepdog for sure. Okay, so that's what we've got so far. Just like a hairy, hairy sheepdog. Now I'm gonna give him what I'm sort of calling like eyebrows. So they're kind of like little eyebrows there. You liked all my videos? Oh my goodness. Oh, thank you. Thank you, okay. So now, those are his eyebrows. Where did I put the other stuff? So unfortunately, I was saying earlier, I don't have any, well, wait a minute, any uh, chocolate chips, because that's probably what I would use. So I'm using just little coffee beans right now. You live far away, so there's no... And I'm using little jelly beans for his little tongue. So there's his tongue and his nose. This one's the best, thank you. <laughs> he looks cute even without eyeballs, doesn't he? Um, now, I don't have eyeballs. Yesterday when I made these, I had eyeballs because I had I made a bunch. So I'm ad-libbing here. Hi, Ruby. Hi, Ruby. Hi, little girl. Ruby's come to have a look. No, sorry, I'm not. So I'm gonna squeeze a little eye on here. Who's Ruby? She's my puppy. Oh, there she is. Can you hear her? <laughs> I'll get Ruby and I'll show you. Ruby, come. Ruby, come. Come. Ruby, come. Where are you? Come. Oh, come. Are you ready to be amazed? Come. This is Ruby. <laughs> Say hi, Ruby. Say hi. You can't even see her. She's like, got so much long hair since she hasn't been groomed for a while. She's not a puppy. She's five years old. She's the perpetual puppy. I know, she's adorable. And she's three and a half pounds. And she's the boss, and she will tell you that it took her a long time to teach me what I was supposed to do. 
almost six, yes, maple sugar. Uh, she'll be six on Valentine's Day, so she'll need a she'll need a um, a puppy cake. Yeah, I know. No, you can't adopt her. She's mine. Yes, all dogs are puppies. You're right. Uh, when did you pick up baking as a hobby? Well, I used to do it sort of professionally for the city of Toronto. Um, but when I retired, I guess that turned me into a hobby baker. Yeah. Okay, I'm just going to put her down and wash my hands. And uh, I've had her since she was three months old. And then we'll continue making the cupcakes. Hang on, I'll just wash my hands. Okay, so we're gonna do a couple more. Should we do a couple more? A couple more puppies. Oh, now my hand's all wet and the bag is slipping. <laughs> Helping you not to be depressed. Oh, don't be depressed. Can't be depressed. Nobody's allowed to be depressed or tired. Ask my daughter. You're not allowed to sleep. You gotta be happy. Gotta be covered in buttercream. That's another one of the rules. Can you please add butter? What do you, I can't read that, sorry. Cheap dogs. Yeah, anybody that's just come on, I don't know why, but all of my um, comments are in like five point type. I can't barely read them. I don't know what's going on today. But if you followed the host, thank you. Much appreciated. If you're sharing the video, thank you. I know there were some presents that came in earlier. Thank you. I see my make batter, but I don't know what that means. We're just cake decorating today. This is the first class that we're doing on Sundays at one o'clock Pacific Standard Time. We're doing them every Sunday for a little while. Yeah, that was bigger. Oh, that helps if you type in uh, all caps, I won't think you're yelling, I'll just be able to read it, that's helpful. It's still smaller than it was, but it's certainly better. I'm wondering if it had anything to do with the fact that they added features yesterday. They added that dual live, and I'm wondering if that, although I didn't notice it yesterday, so I had the dual live yesterday. So, so give all the hairy sheep dog. If I had done this in black, it could have been, uh, thank you, she is cute. I'm surprised she has, oh, it's early yet. At 3.30, she tells me that it's uh, bone o'clock. She's a golden doodle. The golden doodle. Thanks for all the offers for the moderator, guys. I'm not going to do that today, but I do need to think about it more. Okay, these are the eyebrows. That's what I'm calling them. And then, and the fur in here. So now I got to um, bone o'clock. Yes, it's bone o'clock. I don't know how she knows what time it is, but she comes at the same time every day and she stands at the cupboard door. So that's when I know it's bone o'clock. Uh, I'm going to see if I can cut one of these because they're ginormous. Yes, that worked. Uh, confetti, wow, look at that. <laughs> so pretty, thank you. So there's the nose, there's the nose. Now we'll put in the little pink tongue. Last Wednesday, yes, well then you know what we're gonna do 
Oh, the redecorating. Yeah, that turned out not too badly, that redecorating that cake. There's the little pink tongue. And now, I'll do the eyeballs. This is very awkward with this, I must say. Yeah. So yesterday I made all the eyeballs out of fondant. So they were, they were better. They were better, so. And I'm gonna put a little bit of hair over his uh, eyes there a little bit. You know, it just occurred to me, I think you were here last, I think this one needs a little flower in his hair. I think this puppy needs a like a ribbon or something. I'm gonna put a ribbon or something. Oh <laughs> he's definitely gonna need a ribbon. His eyeball's running. I might have to I better get this one in the fridge in a hurry. His eyeball is running. Look, he's a little bit sad in that one eye. His hair's in his eye and it's making his eye run. Okay. I don't know. Oh, what's that? Oh, I missed it. I missed it, but thank you, Sarah. Thank you for following. All right, um, let's change this tip. Here it is. How do you make soft buttercream? Um, go on my website, go on my blog, and you'll find my recipe for American buttercream and for um, Italian meringue. They both pipe like this. I don't suppose too many of you have school, do you? So. I'm gonna make another big pink flower here. Keep the bag tight. Yeah. Yeah, I think there's other people on here that are in the UK. I think so for sure. Hi, Sophie. Ophelia, hi. Obviously it's not true. I'm going to put the top on here. So, all of these designs, and I will bring them out when we're done here, they, they all have been done with just three different tips. Combination of different tips. This has got brown in it. Let's give it a brown stamen just to make it a look. I'm never tired of baking. Like that. Pretty. Pretty, pretty. Put it in the fridge. Do another hydrangea. Um, hours, card making, depends what you love. Yeah, if you're doing what you love. So these are the hydrangeas. Maybe I'll make some big white hydrangeas in a minute.
just like that. We'll finish this one up. We'll do two of these. Barely gonna make two out of it. This is barely enough icing. It is easy. That's why I make it look easy. If you hold the bag right, learn to hold the bag, then it's easy. I like to put these. It's three o'clock, but it looks like it's getting dark in here. Drop these on. Oh, they're pretty. Thank you for sharing. Thank you for sharing the videos. Thank you for following me. Thank you for hanging out with me. Here's a little flower. A little hydrangea. I think we're going to make, uh, I'm going to do a little, um, get another piece of uh, saran wrap here. <laughs> now I got buttercream on my glasses. Maybe I better just keep them on. It's awkward because I only need glasses when the type is silly like it is right now. I don't know why it's like that. It's frustrating. So I'm gonna put a little bit of pink just because I wanna use up all my icing. I don't want, we're getting near to the end and I don't want to have icing left. Once again, I wouldn't normally use a knife that had green on it, but because I'm making the hydrangea, it doesn't matter because it wouldn't, if a little bit of green was in it, it would be all right. But I, I use the saran wrap when I want to do more than, um, when I want to um, mix the colors. I use the uh, where is it? I'll get it for you and show you what number it is. It's the 2D. It's got the closed end. 2 D's in David. That's the, the end of the tip. Got it, put it in there. Get a bag. And that tip doesn't need a coupler, so it can go right in. Always make sure you throw those away, because if they get in this bag with your icing, it'll block your icing and you'll be unhappy. Drop that in. Nice, easy way to do this. Keeps it nice and clean and easy. Can you ship some there? Alrighty, they're on their way, Bradison. I'll send them to you. It's the video below literally is drawing your cupcake. <laughs> is her name Joanne Green? 
I know she's an artist on here. What about the mess? What about the, oh, what about me? Mimi? Yes, I'll send them all to all of you. Sorry, I don't mean to be peering, but I can't see because of this silly thing. Darn this. Okay, so this is the same as the blue ones, but we're just gonna make them pink and white. And it have a tiny little bit of green every so often in it. I'm just twisting it in a circle. Look how pretty and how easy this is. Look, look. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. I like to make this in a nice big sort of mound because I think that's the way um, hydrangeas are, right? I'm gonna bring the cupcakes out afterwards. I'll clear up a little space. I'll bring them all out and we can look at them. Actually, the last time I did that, somebody screenshot it. So you can do that too if you want. I will put this video up in its entirety, pretty much. Maybe not with Ruby in it, on uh, YouTube when I'm done. Um, it depends what size and what kind that you want. We'll do one more. Oh, well, actually, I've enough. So, you know how I showed you that we made that rose the rosette. Yeah, I'll be your Nana. My grandchild calls me Nana, not Grandma. Um, I'm gonna do the same thing with this one. It's slightly different, but it still works the same. So you push it in the center and then just go around the outside. It's ever so slightly different. And then we'll do the last one like that. Just to use up the icing that's in the bag. Give it a squeeze and twist it around. That one broke there a little bit, but as I said, oh, you know what? I'll put the little flowers on there. These are the flowers that we made earlier. Together, if you were here with me. So we'll put that flower, actually it's kind of cool on there. This one's got a little bit more of a mess on it. That's why it broke. So we'll pile three of these on here. No. I have one left. I don't really want it on here from a design perspective, but it's going on. Now, the hydrangea needs some leaves. A little leaf. You guys that are following me, thank you. I'm sorry if I'm not paying as much attention to you today, but it's just too difficult with that type. Anybody else got that problem with the type today? I know somebody did. Have you got itty bitty type today? I don't know what that is. The typeface for the comments is really, really small. Um, is there any more in there? Do I have a bag of that anywhere? No, okay, so it has to be green. Yes, you've got really small type too. Let's go. 
gosh, I hope this isn't going to be a permanent feature that they've got this small type. I won't be happy with that. Sorry, I didn't see something about mental breakdown. I'm sorry if somebody's having that. No, I don't eat my own cakes if I can avoid it. I make so many, I'd be over the top. So there's our little, our pretty little cupcakes. Hi, the Edie, is that Eddie or Edie? I'm not quite sure what that is. So those are those. You put them in the fridge. And harden up. Hmm. A lot of pink there today. I'm going to put a few of these on here. There's no end to what kind of flowers. There's all sorts of tips that we can use. Hi to Kayla. Shout out. How are you guys all doing? Okay. All right, so thank you for following me. All right, so let me tell you what's going to happen now. I'm going to put these in the fridge. Okay, so I'm going to Angel on your 15. I'm a beginner baker. Hi, Angel. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to clean up a little bit of space where, I'm, where I've been working and then I'm going to bring out all the cupcakes that we did so that you guys can have a look at all of them and see what you think. Okay? So give me two minutes. Talk amongst yourselves while I clean up this mess. <laughs> you guys are funny. Alright, so I'll put away what I can put away. And that squeezy cheese in your hair? No, I like it like it is. It's all the way. And the colors away. one was on the ground so you know that there's buttercream underneath my foot probably. All this ends the sink. this off so there's a place that I can put the cupcakes down.
Use some of them. So we've got, what was his name? Can't remember what his name was. We had Oscar, no, we, yeah, we had Oscar and Max. Put them all out here, and then I'm going to get the other puppies. <laughs> These are so cute. These are the boys in the back. Peering out there. I know, they're cute, aren't they? We did quite a few. All right. I'm gonna flip this around. Hang on. I'll flip it. So here's all the cupcakes. See how pretty they look? There's all the puppy dogs, the boys in the back. <laughs> they better not be too precious to eat. I have lots of people that say, oh my goodness, they're so pretty. I don't want to eat them, but that wouldn't be very good for me, would it? Look at these guys. <laughs> Little tongues poking out, sheep dogs. Yeah, some of them are orders. Uh, I only do it for the neighborhood, the building that I'm in. But just practice. You'll be able to do it. I, though, I, I'm telling you, this is um, all those pink flowers are done with the same tip. And then the blue flower is done with another tip. And the puppies are done with another tip. So there's three tips. We can do this together. I'm gonna, all right, let me uh, flip this back around. <coughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> Squeak. Yes, so that's um, cupcakes. Yes, I made the cupcakes this morning. Between taking the dog out and... You want to save them in a shadow box? <laughs> no, Selena, it's still tiny, tiny tight. It's really... I don't know why it's so tiny. I'm just hoping that next time I do this, it's not this tiny, because it was very difficult to see anything you guys had to say. Oh, thank you. That's kind of you. But you're flying. Oh, Ruby's gone to lay down. She had enough of her, her appearance. Leave the puppy in the background there. So, I will. <laughs> Can you please say hi to Leah? Hi, Leah. Do I live in America? Well, I live in North America, but I live in Canada. Vancouver, Canada. Ruby is my dog. 
You missed the whole class, did you? <laughs> well, Wednesday, 11 o'clock Pacific Standard Time, um, I'm doing TikTok cake takeover. So um, I'll bring a cake and some vanilla icing and you guys get to tell me how to make the cake. So the cake will be designed by you. And then I'm thinking that once we get the cake designed, all the people that took uh, part in it, um, no, I don't ship, sorry. All the people that took part in uh, directing me on making the cake should tag themselves and um, we'll say that you're one of the designers, which you will have been. 2 a.m., you stayed up to watch? Oh my goodness, <laughs> it's a little late for you. So you can be part of my cake takeover. Let me turn the tap off. The sink's almost full. Okay, so are there any questions? Uh, you didn't see what we did? This is what we did. We made cupcakes. We did flowers, lots of flowers, puppy dogs. That's what we did. Little puppy dogs. Okay, so I'm going to close it down today. Um, I'll be back online live um, maybe Tuesday, but definitely Wednesday at 11 because of the takeover. Uh, but I'll definitely be on here. Thank you. What time is it with you? Um, it's 20 after 3 right now. Bye from Nana. Wednesday, yeah, Wednesday, 11 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. Come tell me what to do. We'll decorate the cake, and then when it's decorated, you can tag yourself as part of the cake design, and then I'm going to give the cake to the local lady, um, uh, home for the ladies here. Okay, goodbye. Thanks for coming by. Thanks, everybody, for following me, too. I really appreciate it. Bye.